The summer before my senior year, a guy I knew invited me to his dorm room. He had a girlfriend, and I knew he had a girlfriend, so I didn't think anything sexual would happen. But as the movie went on, he started kissing me, and I felt really uncomfortable. It got to the point where he tried to take off my clothes. I asked him to stop. He insisted I would like it, and at this point, I got stern with him and told him no. Stop. Some people are able to scream and yell in intense situations when they're in danger, but when I get really stressed, I begin to shut down. I sort of disassociated myself and tried to figure out a way to tell him to get off of me. My mind was racing. I asked him to get a condom, and he let me go. I confronted him immediately afterwards. His response was that he didn't rape me. That was when I had to spell it out to him, explaining that I didn't want this to happen, and that's what he forced to happen. That's called rape. Less than a year, we both enrolled in the same science class. I eventually dropped the class and made arrangements to take it over the summer so I didn't have to be in the same room with him. Once we graduated, he would message me every now and then. I think I was hoping he'd realize what he had done was wrong. Maybe that he'd even apologize. I didn't report the incident because my mom worried me that it may be more stressful to go through that process than it would be to leave it alone and move on. I think he thought because the way we had started, and because he had kissed me, and maybe because I didn't push him away immediately, that he was entitled to have sex with me. That's not true.